All right, I'm going to show you how to go wireless on your Vex Cortex using Robot C software. Okay, and these two lights indicate that I'm currently in the USB wired mode, which is known as Vexnet or USB communication mode. You can find that under the robot menu. Okay, I'm going to switch from Vexnet or USB to just USB only, which is wireless. I'm going to then download to robot. Your uh, cortex is there. Okay, if you get asked to do a power cycling, okay, this is a very normal message to get at this point. It, we need to disconnect both the orange cord and the battery. Both of these are power sources so that our cortex can switch communication modes. So to do that, we're going to power off our switch, unplug the USB, unplug the battery, and then replug the battery and the USB back in and we'll turn the Cortex back on and hit OK and the download should continue alright and you'll see that we have two lights over here the outside two lights that tells me I've switched to wireless mode and you might get this no communication mode message unplug and replug Usually that goes away. And it looks like our download has worked. You don't need to hit start at this time, that's not necessary. Just turn off the Cortex, unplug USB, turn it back on. You get two green lights here on the outside, that is the wireless setting. And you should be able to start your program. And mine is just a bump switch turning on a, a motor one second, which it did. Right there, you can see the motor is spinning. Right there. Okay, so that's how you go to wireless. If you need to go back to wired mode from wireless, you simply do the opposite. Robot, back to VexNet USB communication mode, download again. You'll probably have to power cycle get yourself back power cycle